So with the crippling failure of Warlords of Draenor, Blizzard's really been gunning for new ideas on how to get back all the subs that they've already lost. Apparently someone thought it was a great idea to shove as many expansion ideas into just one expansion, and the end result is what we have before us today, World of Warcraft Legion. I know I'm a day late to talking about this, but you know, what can I say, I've been a busy man, so we're just gonna keep this video short, sweet, and to the point, so strap in, because here we go. The first thing that really caught my attention was just how much plot they're really trying to cram into Legion. Not only are we going to be dealing with the Burning Legion, but we're also going to be dealing with Ajara, the Emerald Nightmare, the Vrykul, reforming multiple organizations such as the Silver Hand, and much, much more. It's both funny and sad to see Blizzard going into full panic mode over the loss of all of their subs, so they're just like, ah, shit, what do people want? Uh, Nagas? Demons? The Emerald Dream? Uh, fuck it, just throw it all in. Our new continent this time around is gonna be the Broken Isles, which is pretty cool I guess, but just take a look at the map. This has got a bunch of red flags all over it already. Hell, this is just the first incarnation of the map too. God knows how much they'll have to cut out because they just don't have the resources. Also, the layout looks pretty damn similar to Pandaria too, which is also a pretty huge red flag in of itself. While in the Broken Isles, it looks like we're going to be spending a lot of our time in Dalaran, which is coming back as the new neutral city for this expansion. Now, I'll admit, I love Dalaran. It's a cool city, it's a cool place, and it's a cool idea to bring it back, but I was just kind of hoping for, you know, something new. But wait a minute, hold the phone, turns out I'm a filthy liar, because we will not be spending most of our time in Dalaran, and that's because Garrisons 2.0 is here, now called Class Halls. Class Halls are essentially Garrisons, but you get to hang out with other players of your own class while inside of them. For example, all paladin players are gonna hang out in some basement, all shaman players are gonna go hang out in some cave, and all warlocks are gonna go hang out on their very own planet. One of these things is indeed not like the other. In these class halls is where we're going to be getting all of our weapons for this expansion in the form of artifact weapons. Each class has their very own unique special snowflake weapons such as Ashbringer, Frostmourne, Gorehal, Doomhammer, etc, etc. Players are gonna run out, go do some quest chain, and then be able to make that special snowflake weapon all for themselves. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, wow, that sounds really stupid, and that's because, well, it is. I'm really, really, really looking forward to seeing how Blizzard's gonna try to explain every single Ret Paladin out there running around with an Ashbringer. Speaking of classes, there's a new one, the Demon Hunters. Basically, they're just edgy or more overpowered rogues that can double jump. They only have two specs, DPS or Tank, and will start out at level 100 because they are indeed a hero class. The dumbest thing about them though is that they can only be played by Night Elves and Blood Elves, which is just stupid. And I know what you're probably thinking, uh, my lore wouldn't allow other races to be demon hunters, it just wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, well your lore allows goblins and worgens to be death knights, but no, I guess that's okay, right? Next thing I want to talk about is content, or really, lack thereof. Only six new dungeons that people are probably only gonna do once on Heroic and then never step foot into again. Looks like we're only gonna get three raids this expansion, only six new zones, and of course, no new battlegrounds or arenas, because you know, that would just cost too much resources. So yeah, that's just a pretty basic overview as to what we know so far. The bait is gonna be coming out sometime later this year, and the actual game's presumably gonna drop sometime next summer something if I had to guess. A lot of people, including myself, do not have high hopes for this expansion at all. Watt officially killed WoW. I don't think there's really any argument to that. I'm just hoping that this expansion is going to be the final nail in the coffin so we can finally put this beloved series to rest before it keeps on embarrassing itself even more. But with all that being said, I'm still totally going to buy it because I have no shame. Anyway though, thank you all for watching. This is Ouija the God, and I will see you all next time.